Summer is officially over and that means we go in our closet deep in the back and pull out all that fall stuff. But is it still in style? We'll find out. Lauren Rothman is here. Good to see you. Hi, great to see you too. All right, this is fascinating. We're doing the five must-haves of yeah. the fall season and it says pony texture. Frankly, I prepared for a ponytail. <laughs> and I googled pony texture and there is a, such a thing where you crimp it and you There is. There is. There absolutely is. That's not what we're talking about. <laughs> what? We're talking more about the textural trend of having something tactile to touch this season. Okay. And it feels like a pony. Really? And yes. this is what this is right yeah, here. Yeah, so this is an example. This is a trend I have to say. We saw it on the runways. What's so nice about this is not only is it accessible and affordable, but it's also something you're only going to do in accessories. Okay. So I don't want to see like a pony textured dress this season. I'd rather see like a great shoe, a belt, a little clutch, a great purse. Okay. Now, um, the, the feeling is the same, but the design can be different because the belt is different than that. Right. So we can have a leopard print. We can have a snake skin. It can really be any texture. It can even just be plain black like we've got here. Um, but the idea is, again, it's this textural trend. It adds a little touch of glam okay. to just a classic, sophisticated outfit. And can you do that with jeans? Do you? You do. You can absolutely okay. do it with jeans. You could throw this belt into the belt loops of a pair of trouser jeans, which we're going to touch on as another yes, hot are. trend. Let's go to them next then. Uh, trouser jeans, pants, not like denim jackets or right. anything. Right, right. They're actually made out of denim, but they're shaped like a trouser pant. So what's great about this trend is last year we really saw skinny jeans. Right. And I had a lot of clients who would say, Lauren, I don't think I can wear these. They're not age appropriate. They might not be my size, you know, they might not work for my size or my shape. But a trouser jean is fantastic. We see Kelly Rippa here. It's nice. It really is flattering for most body types. We've got four major body types, an apple, a dewdrop, someone who's a little heavier on the bottom, okay. um, someone who's a straight, and someone who's a curvy. And what's fascinating and wonderful about the trouser jean is it's really flattering for all four body types. And what's the bottom like? Is that, it looks like so a the boot bottom, or a flare? It's sort of a wide slash flare, depending on the exact style. But again, shaped very much like a pair of black pants that you might be wearing to the office. And you wish they came in that style right. for the weekend, because it's so flattering and so easy. The rise is always comfortable in the midsection. Yeah, it looks like it's a little bit of a higher Rise. It is. It's a little bit higher. It's nice and narrow though through the hips. So it's not really going to hug your curves as much as just sort of skim and make you look lean. You don't need that muffin top hanging exactly, out the back. Exactly. Please. We no. all know. <laughs> I'm not lying. Um, and it's a it's a, a looser fit, not very tight jeans. Right. To it's a up. looser fit, but it is, again, it's fit through the hips. Mm -hmm. It's fit right through here. Okay. But then it's just got a nice long and lean look. Okay. Uh, leather. Leather. I love excited this about because this one. when fall comes, we're always looking for those outerwear pieces. Mm -hmm. And leather is something that a lot of us just have from years and years ago, and we wish we could sort of bring back into the wardrobe. Um, leather's fun. You can be edgy. You can sort of channel your inner rock star. But at the same time, you can be sophisticated and go into the boardroom with a little bit of a touch of leather. So we've got, again, some great pictures here. I love leather as a third piece. And when I say that, I mean a little leather blade. Okay. And again, whether you're throwing that back to the trouser jean or you're doing that over a black sheath and belting it, either way, just throwing a little bit of leather is going to be fantastic. And you're actually seeing like a little touch of leather kind of woven into different dresses this season. So touches of leather, again, not whole dress of exactly. leather. Exactly. Not full head to toe leather. Okay. There is the woman out there, there is the fashionista who can do the leather sheath. Um, but you know, for the everyday woman who's sort of out there looking to shop, I would just do touches of okay. leather. There. All right, uh, this one I find very interesting. The cape is the coming cape. back. I love the cape, and I love the cape because it hides everything <laughs> and yet is super glamorous. Um, and again, I think we have some great okay. pictures of some capes. And what's so fun about them is that, you know, you can just sort of your hands stick out. Okay. So, as you'll see here, again, inner wear as well as outer wear with some of these guys. So you're going to be carrying a top-handled purse with a cape. All right. This is not the type of jacket that you're going to be able to do an over-the-shoulder purse Makes with. Makes sense. Um, but the top-handled purse is very in, again, this season, so that works out. But the cape can go in at the waist, be very flattering, show off that small waist, and then kind of come out in a ladylike peplum. Um, you know, this season's very much about retro chic mm -hmm. and channeling just sort of times of the past and bringing them 
them back in a really fashion forward fun way. Now those were all very casual. Can you do an evening cape? You can absolutely do an evening cape, do something for a gala, throw a cape over it. But for the most part, the trend is concentrated to more of a casual look. And the cape, it's such a specific thing. You know, what if in two years it falls out of style? Do you, I mean, it's a very specific as you, thing. As long as you get a classic looking cape, okay. it is something that's going to work through the ages. Even if you're sort of zigzagging out of time, wearing, having worn it two years ago, it's coming back now, it'll be in when you get a nice classic one. It's sort of an evolving of the pashmina or the nice sort of fur wrap that you might see. All right. And finally, polka dots. Polka dots. I love this because I think this is a sexy trend for the fall. Mm -hmm. And you're seeing polka dots a lot in clothing. But I love it in hosiery. Really? Yes, and I think we have a great that. picture. And I have to say, one of the questions I get the most often from so many of my clients and a lot of the conferences that I speak at is, Lauren, are, are hose appropriate for the office? Can I wear nude hose? What color do they have to be? And this is one of those complicated questions because depending on your generation mm -hmm. and sort of where you're coming from in a work perspective, that will really guide your answer as to if hose is appropriate and black hose always appropriate and if you want to throw a little dash of fashion in there a polka dot That's hose does the it accessory of the season when it comes to That's look wear. That's so cool. And they're okay to wear to the office? They the are. They are okay to wear to the office. You want to make sure you don't have a mini accompanying them. You, you know, <laughs> a you want to mini. Sure. <laughs> you don't want to wear all the trends at once. Yeah, can you just yeah. make one big grand outfit? No. 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 <laughs> Lauren, thank you.